welcome to another video from the Fisherman's Net and Saints Peter and Paul in Naperville, Illinois. We're shooting this video on the shores of Lake Superior in Bayfield, Wisconsin, on the very northern tip of the state of Wisconsin. In our last video, we started talking about the virtues, and we said that virtues are habits. Virtues are firm dispositions or habits of doing the good. And we saw that the virtues are broken up into human virtues and theological virtues. And so today we want to focus on the human virtues. And human virtues can be attained and strengthened through human effort, by practice, by doing virtuous things. And all of the human virtues are centered on and built around four what we call cardinal virtues. So today we want to look at those four cardinal virtues. And the first cardinal virtue is prudence. And prudence has been called the mother of the virtues or even the charioteer of the virtues. And prudence is a disposition of our intellect that helps us to discern in any given circumstances the true good and also the means to achieve that good. So you can see why it would be the mother of the other virtues. The other virtues uh, help us uh, as habits of doing good, but prudence is the virtue that helps us discern here and now what is the true good and how to achieve that good. And so uh, this is an important virtue because sometimes we're faced with a good, but multiple ways to get there. And prudence says, well, what is the best way to achieve the good? So here's an example. Uh, one good would be the good of marriage, sacramental marriage as we understand it. And one situation people, people often find themselves in is a Catholic relative who's getting married outside of the Catholic Church, perhaps uh, outside on the beach by a justice of the peace, and the question is, do we attend that wedding? That's a question of prudence because we have a good we want to achieve that is upholding the truth of marriage. And there are other goods, the, the good of the relationship of the family, the relationship with that person. Prudence is the virtue that discerns here and now, in this set of circumstances, with these goods in mind, what's the best course of action to take to achieve the good. So the prudent person is one who habitually and easily chooses the right path to achieve the good. Another of the four cardinal virtues is Temperance. Temperance is the virtue or the habit by which we moderate our attractions to pleasures. And so all kinds of things uh, are, are, are attractions to pleasures. Some of the very classic things are things like food and drink and sexuality and power. Temperance moderates that and says there's a certain amount of good in each of those things that we shouldn't exceed. So the temperate person knows habitually that one Oreo is good, but that an entire box of Oreos may not be so good. And the temperate person habitually and easily chooses to choose just one Oreo. Or the temperate person knows that one martini at a party might be good, but seven might be a bad idea, and habitually chooses to do so. Uh, but today we have all kinds of other things to be tempered about that maybe the ancient Greeks hadn't even thought about. We need to be tempered about things like shopping, uh, how we spend our money, how we use our time on things like internet and social media and television and video games. So temperance is moderating our attraction to those pleasures and saying a certain amount is good. Overstepping those boundaries may not be so good. Um, one uh, aspect of temperance is what has classically been called the custody of the eyes. That when, uh, when, say, you're driving down the road and you see an attractive person walking on the sidewalk, custody of the eyes says you don't turn your head and watch. That uh, temperance says with this custody of the eyes that one glance may be a wonderful thing, but dwelling too much can be an occasion of sin. So the temperate person moderates their uh, attraction to pleasures. There's also uh, the, the third uh, cardinal virtue is fortitude. Fortitude is the habit uh, by which we persevere in good even when it's difficult, even when we might be persecuted for it. 
Fortitude is the habit by which we speak the truth and do the good, even when there are consequences. And of course, fortitude is more and more needed in society as society becomes more and more antithetical to our Catholic beliefs and values. Fortitude finds its perfection in martyrdom. The martyrs persevere in the good and the truth, even when it costs them their lives. And the fourth cardinal virtue is justice. Justice is the virtue, the habit by which we render to each person their due. So, uh, justice is the habit, the disposition by which we give a full day's work for a full day's pay. Or we give to each person the remuneration due to their work. Uh, justice, uh, I learned from my father when he would uh, go to the grocery store and get one dollar extra in change and find out in the parking lot and turn around and give that dollar back. That's a, a person my father had the habit of justice, the virtue of justice, rendering to each their due. And under the umbrella of justice is also what we call the virtue of religion. We don't, we don't often think of religion as a virtue, but religion is simply giving God his due. So under justice, not only do we give human beings what's due to them, but we give God the worship that's due to him, and we call that the virtue of religion. So all of these virtues, these four cardinal virtues, are the foundations on which all the other human virtues are, are built upon. And so if we find ourselves lacking in one of these virtues and we want to build it up, there are two things we can do. One is to practice that virtue. We build habits by doing those things. So if I'm lacking in the virtue of justice, I can build that virtue by doing just acts. The more just acts I do, the more just of a person I become, the more I build that virtue of justice. And the other thing I can do is pray because the grace of God uh, inf is infused in us to build up these virtues. So there's human effort, but also divine assistance that we receive. So we act and we pray to build up these virtues. In our next video, we'll talk about a different uh, grouping of virtues, different kinds of virtues that we call the theological virtues. So stay tuned for that.